teachers, staff, and students are thinking towards the future and are thinking how can we how can we enfold into our teaching learning and research processes that are happening now projections towards the problems and the realities of the future right so how can we include the sustainable development goals how can we include real world challenges that are that we can see coming whether those are climate change or the movement of peoples across borders or the impact of uh, technology on our lives thinking about the future now more than ever is part of thinking about the present of how we teach learn and research in higher education Well, your long time leadership in the field of technology and education, in the, in the intersection between technology and education, I think is that piece of, of competitive advantage. Why do I say that? Because we live in a political, social, economic, and environmental context which is only going to make it more difficult for human beings to travel across borders, to engage with each other. That's our reality. The impact of travel on the environment, uh, the cost of it for so many, um, the cost of it in terms of time, and some of the political strife and the political restructuring in the world are putting up blockades for that. But now more than ever, we need to communicate, to connect, to collaborate. So how can we use technology to enable us to do that? In meaningful ways and in ways that can be just as impactful, if not even more so, than simply traveling to another place. Especially in the, in the, in the sense of, say, study abroad. For some of our students, they say the study abroad experience, while it's amazing to see and experience and taste and do new things, it's not necessarily engaging students in transformative perspectives uh, that, that kind of change the way that they see themselves in the world and how they engage with others. Sometimes that's the case, but sometimes that's not the case. It depends on how the study abroad experience is designed, right? If students are simply touring and seeing and observing, then they might not have the same kind of transformational experience as if they're engaging with local cultures, right? And they're, and they're being asked to kind of negotiate those differences and think about the the way that their their lives may they may see their own lives differently reflected in the lives of others when we use technology it's possible to engage students in collaborative experiences where they have to do just that but they don't have to leave their classroom they don't have to leave their campus and they can still have that transformational global or international learning experience. So I think tech has uh, the possibility to lead in this area. Yes, there is something I would like to share that um, I see from my perspective as a global educator that we are living in a moment of immense opportunity an immense capacity for hope. And hope is the engine of action. My hope lies in the strength and the power of connecting people, of connecting ideas, of connecting institutions. I think all of the solutions to the problems that we face, whether they are at the local level or at the global level, lie in connection making, and that is the heart of
global education. So I have a, a lot of hope for our future. So um, you can contact me at, um, I do have a, a, a working email, and that's S. Dosher, my last name, uh, at F Florida International IU.edu. So S Dosher at FIU.edu. And uh, our website for our program is goglobal.fiu.edu. And uh, I also have the opportunity to work with lots of institutions uh, together to collaborate. And so for that, I have um, also a website which shares more about me professionally. And that's my first and last name, Stephanie Dasher at, or excuse me, yeah, Steph. <laughs> I'll say that again. I have a website, stephaniedasher.com. And please, LinkedIn and Twitter. I, those are the spaces that people can find me. 